Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench and Mike here. We are back with video three in the R230 series. I got a new buddy. Check him out. Look at that. Yep, I got my little monkey. He's going to hand me tools and all kinds of things as I continue to make these videos. How you doing? Say hello. Hello, hello. All right. Yeah, we're having fun. Hey, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been watching these. The first two videos were number one on the channel for a good reason. This car is coming back to life. This video includes what happens when we drive her around back. We're going to clean her up a little bit again, change the oil, and who knows what could happen next. <gasps> Continuing work now on the R230. Yep, doesn't she look much better here in the trunk? Got the dogs playing. Yeah, everybody loves the obligatory dog pictures. Okay, anyway, we have cleaned out the trunk. We have uh, kind of painted up our pump there. We have received a new, this is for your glove box. This is for something else. I also have a latch for the door which is somewhere in here because since we had to change this and i didn't film this because it was in such an awkward position okay this was the problem okay nobody could get the key in here to open up this okay back it up mike there we go all right so i had to replace this okay this unit right here which meant this had to come out this had to come out all of this stuff had to come out there is a way it's called a service position where you open this it comes up and then this part somehow comes back some more it gives you more access it's easier to work on well because i couldn't get it open because of this i couldn't get it to the service position so i just i just did this on my own and i'm sorry i didn't share that with you but she's looking much better okay so now i think what's going to happen if we close her she'll latch and if i open this she will unlatch you want to give it a try? This is huge, okay? Still need to clean this piece. That's kind of dirty and gross. Let's make sure that I have the key with the new mechanical key right here that came with all my new locks, okay? So we received, this is new. This one will be replaced when I find what I did with that. I think it's in there somewhere. And then the one right there by the glove box set will also be replaced. So they all have matching mechanical keys. So let's do it. Let's just kind of close this and see what happens. We've covered out the third brake light because that's how we broke into the thing in the first place. Remember that? Remember how much fun that was? Okay, here we go. We're going to slowly lower this down. We heard the latch. So now she's closed. That has not happened in a long time. Okay. Now with two fingers, she's supposed to unlatch. <laughs> don't tell me this is going to happen don't tell me this is going to happen okay hopefully maybe it was just locked there we go now there you go for the first time ever it works there unlatch look at that Beautiful. now work continues here and on the inside we're going to put the seats and everything back together, but first, I can't wait to drive this, so we're going to change the oil. Let's change oil and see what bad stuff comes out. We're under the car right now. Let me tell you, three panel pieces, three bottom panel pieces have to come off to get to this little bolt right here. Mercedes couldn't put you a little access panel right here. You got to take off the entire shield. Yeah, three pieces for the shield there. That was just lovely. So let's see what comes out of the car. You want to? It has been who knows how long since this car. It hasn't run in years and years. And I don't know what's inside. So let's figure it out. Let's see how black this is going to be. This could be gross. There's a washer. It's certainly been around for a long, long time. Well, let's see what she looks like. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's not milkshake, so that's a win. That's a huge win. Let's see what lies beneath. Once again, this was on way too tight. People cinch this thing up like it's 
super important. Well, it is super important, but look, that's not bad. That's actually kind of good in there. It's kind of a honey colored almost. It's not black. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna replace the filter and the little O-rings, put it back in there. We're just continuing to let this drip from the bottom and then we will put in the good stuff. Time has arrived. Yep, we're gonna put some oil and let me tell you, I'm not spending money on the Mobile One oil because I am cleaning out this engine. So the plan is to put in a good oil, a very inexpensive oil, but a good oil. And then we're gonna add some Marvel Mystery Oil because we're gonna clean the engine. I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and clean. Then we're gonna drive her for like 300 miles or something, I don't know. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Then we'll put in the good filter and we will put in the good oil. But I just wanna make sure that everything is nice because I don't wanna replace an engine. I do not want to do that. Um, we got a battery we have to put in. You know these have two batteries? Yes sir, Ree Bob. One in the front, one in the back. One is pretty much for the starter. The other one runs everything else. You wanna jump one, you don't wanna jump the other. You'll screw it all up. Don't ask me how I know. No, actually I just read it. I haven't screwed it up yet. So we'll put the battery in. We'll give the top of the engine a quick little clean. And then we're gonna give her a start. Then we'll put the seats in. Then we're going to take her around the block. See how she does. All right, here we go. Here's the good stuff. The original oil enhancer. Love, love, love my Marvel Mystery Oil. All right, time for the battery. This is a little one. It's a baby battery. It's like a V4. Ugh. And hopefully, look, these are even marked. Positive, negative. Thank you, Mercedes. Uh, positive, negative. Okay, so you're gonna go in like this. What is up with hiding these batteries? I don't like it. All right, final, final go over just very quickly. I'm just gonna give this a quick little rub down just to show that I appreciate her. I don't know if she's gonna be a good car. She has cooperated so far. She has come back to life magnificently. Once we pulled that fuse and saw that how it was so corroded and like basically non-existent, yeah, she's done everything I asked. Well, I haven't asked her very much. We just kind of sat there in the driveway for a while, but she did that very well, okay? So I'm just gonna wipe this down and then we'll give her a start and see what all kinds of uh, buttons Warning bells, buzzers, lights go on. Yeah, we'll just do that real quick. Stay tuned. Legend, you ready for the big moment? You ready for the big moment? Okay. Lola, what about you? You ready to start the car? Is she gonna start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sit. Look at that. Pretty dogs. I got the prettiest dogs in the world. Okay, time for this. Let's do it. Watch out. Love the car, hate the color coat. Okay, we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna put the seats in. Ugh, Cause I'm getting tired of sitting on this railing. Here we go. Ouch. And let there be life. Red battery, I believe, is the back one. ABC, I don't like. So, let's see if she'll go up. She will go up.
She does rise. She has risen from the ashes. Let's listen to the engine. Look at that. She's alive. Look at that. I love it. I love it. How are we doing on fluid? That looks about perfect. And that, my friends, is how you put the interior back together. Can I tell you how much fun it was for that seat right there with the huge crack in it? Yep, that was the most fun of all. And look how that's discolored. <laughs> Car's been sitting for a while, but that's okay. We're gonna bring her back to life, right? Right? This is the sweetest little boy ever. Super sweet. And so is Lola. She's a pretty girl. Okay. So the plan is to, I've cleared all the codes because you can't trust that when you get a car. The batteries were dead. There's a bajillion codes out there. So we have, back it up, cleared the codes. Next video, we're gonna read the codes and we're gonna take her for a drive. There's a little when I turn the steering wheel. So I gotta figure out what's hitting. Something's hitting the steering rack. I don't know if when they forklifted the car, something got bent or whatever, but it, I don't, I don't wanna drive with a creaking sound. So we're gonna take a look at that and we will see what it is and then we'll go put some gasoline in her and you guys will get to go along. We're also gonna clean the headlights. Yep, and we're gonna put the third brake light, which is right here, ignore that. But this is the third brake light right here, which will go right there. Much better, much better. Looks crappy, looks better. All right, so there you go, folks. She's looking great. The monkey's looking even better. Love this little guy right there. So videos will continue on the R230. Of course, we still have those Monkey Wrench Mike stickers, Ben's Guy 99, and getting lots of requests for those. And this little car is this close to getting back there on the road. Of course, we do have a pesky little problem here with the uh, ABC suspension and a weird sound. Yep, Corvette, 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 just like on TikTok. I know y'all remember those days when it was like, fish, Corvette, Corvette. Corvette, 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 Corvette. Except it goes, yeah, Mercedes, just like that. We'll get to the bottom of that in video number four. So thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. We are back with another one in a day and a half, maybe two days, maybe three days, as soon as possible. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye.